All right. Looks like in Social Event Hospital today, it is official birth defect day. I have seen a puppy born without a nose, um, which we are going to start tube feeding and see if we get that guy to the next level of uh, some corrective surgery. Um, and then this guy was brought in just this afternoon, and we are uh, basically paraparetic back here. It's no feeling, but if you look very closely, you can actually see a lesion right there that was actually left wide open at birth. So our little buddy actually, according to the x-rays and clinical signs, everything else was born with spina bifida. Mom's actually been licking that area back there, and it actually looks like it's fine. Um, I really can't afford a whole lot of antibiotics, and I wouldn't want to start that if I didn't have to, but this puppy seems okay. We're just not eating too well. So now that we know that this dog needs a little bit extra attention and care, um, the uh, owners are going to try and do a, a little bit better of a job taking care of them, and, or her, sorry, I'm trying to be sexist, and uh, we'll see how this puppy goes long term. So anyway, uh, people, animals with spina bifida can actually lead relatively normal lives. Uh, it all depends on how well this guy adapts, and that's where we're at for now. So we'll spend the next few weeks to months watching and monitoring this guy, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, anyway, so that's it. Uh, we took some x-rays, and uh, we'll add that to the video. Later.